Aloha, all, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario for the N64. I'm Paper Mario Guy, and I'm an idiot and started playing off screen for some reason. But luckily, I caught myself. I just opened the the lock uh, with the key that I got from that club room. I uh, got all the way up to 88 uh, star points because of the um, you know massive amount of clubs I wound up fighting. And, uh, in this room, we have a heart block and a save block, which normally indicates that we're gonna have some sort of boss fight or something. But, uh, we'll see. We shall see. Um, at this point, uh, there is a badge and a star piece that I could have gotten. Um, I'm just gonna get them after, uh, the end of the chapter. Um... Like, perhaps in, in one of the interludes or something like that. Because, uh, frankly, like, there, I don't know, I just feel like, and, you know, progressing the plot, you know, I'm already so far into it. Ooh. So, Tubba Blubba is scared. Beauty rest? Are you kidding me? No way. You are one ugly bastard. I'm Yakihi. A faithful and chatty follower of Master Tubba Blubba. My very important job is to guard his valuables. But you don't look like Master Tubba Blubba at all. That means... You've come here to steal me, the magical key that unlocks the door to Windy Mill at the foot of Gl Gusty Gulch. And furthermore, your goal is to find out if there's a secret inside that windmill? Well, of course. You're a very honest person, aren't you? <laughs> and this theme is actually, like, up there with Gusty Gulch of being, like, one of the best tracks pre, you know, chapter, uh, seven. And he just breaks the bridge like a badass. Just, like, listen to how awesome this music is. It's, it's insanely awesome. But, yeah, uh, the reason at this point, you know, uh, even if I wanted to just stop and go get those that badge and that star piece, I would not be able to because of the fact that the bridge is now broken and there would be no way for me to get up there. And he crushed his sentinels. <laughs> I actually never noticed that before. Oh, and now we have a bunch of uh, booze coming here to try and help us. And these boos are just so damn valiant. And, uh, this... I'm, I'm gonna save right in the middle of this. Yeah, those boos are pretty hardcore, I have to say. And, uh, even though they might all get eaten by Tubble Blubba, they're still going to risk their lives to help us. Do I see something back here? Ah, oh, I do! Starpies. Cool. Oh, get out of here! I don't want to be fighting you now. Alright, well, this is the one time that I'm going to use the run feature. Um, on camera, because screw this. I was enjoying that music... And that totally just like was like combo breaker, just disrupted the flow. <laughs> and it's basically just a run downhill. That's why I'm not really saying anything. There's not much else to say. I've given, I've talked about basically like everything I can talk about regarding Tubba Blubba's castle, tips, tricks secrets, things that are going to happen, things that have happened, 
commented on the plot, you know. There, yeah, I talked about like vlog stuff. And, you know. <laughs> At this point, I'm in just enjoying the gameplay. But now we're in the windy mill, and uh, we're kind of making our way uh, through the bottom to I'm ass assuming what can only be Tubble Blub a secret. But first, we have to deal with a stupid like hyper Goomba again with these combo breakers. And Hyper Goombas only drop two star points at this point, so you can tell that, like, you know, things are getting pretty serious. No entry allowed, bullshit. I will do what I want. I might as well just take these guys out, because they get annoying later on if you don't. Yeah, another reason I like to be um, a bit overleveled, I guess you could say, uh, is because of the first attack badge. And um, also the... Uh, the spin attack badge, those are both useful, and you can't really use them if you're not a certain level, so... I don't know. It's just my personal preference to be like that, so... At least for the, the for the time being, for the LP, um, I would like to do that because of the fact that it would just make, you know, moving around and, and backtracking around areas easy, and I wouldn't have to cut out so much, if that makes any sense. Alright, you guys, there's three of you? Why is there three of you? You're just a dumbass, like, hyper Goomba, like, you're, like, you're pathetic. Like, why are you, why are you even here? Like, why, I mean, you have Clubbas, who are, like, amazingly badass, and awesome characters, and... You no, know, they can guard all of, you know, Tub of Bubba's castle, but they can't guard the Windy Mill. Doesn't make sense to me. I know, but these guys are going to go down pretty quickly. And it's actually going to be uh, pretty convenient because I've been using so much, like, FP, um, and I'm kind of running out of FP almost, uh, and I'm about to lose a decent amount of HP, but... Upon defeating this last little, uh, stupid, you know, hyper Goomba, I'll actually wind up getting a level up, and that's perfect, because we're about to go into Chapter, uh, 3's boss fight. Um, actually, one other thing that I can comment on real quick is that if I had to place Chapter 3 among my, my chapters, like, my favorite chapters, I would more than likely say that it's that it's my third favorite chapter third anywhere in between second and fourth you know basically absolutely no entry allowed uh, there's no one stopping me so I'm not going to now I have to deal with this guy what Mario did someone tell you that I'm the secret to strength of Tubble Blubba Someone spilled the beans that the tub of blubba out in the castle is just a cell, and I'm controlling it from here? No. You can't trust anybody. I can't let you out of here knowing the secret of my invincible body. Sorry, but here we go. And, <laughs> the, you know, Chapter 3 is just filled with amazing music, because this is probably my favorite uh, boss fight theme from this particular game. Either this or the Attack of the Cooper Bros. But anyway, here we go, fighting against Tubbo's Heart, and uh, I'm going to be changing to Bombette, and I'm going to be making... Uh... Oh shit, she can't attack. Oops. Alright, well then, we're gonna just waste a turn. And, uh... <laughs> well, that was a waste. I just didn't realize that you couldn't attack with uh, her um, at all. But now that we have this out, I should have known because I can't use the hammer. Um, so now, it's basically just, uh, do a, you know, all-out assault against, uh, Tubba Bubba's heart. And, um, you know, obviously, I'm a big fan of using Gumbaria's Charge, so I'm going to, uh, definitely use that to the max, uh, the best of my ability. 12 damage... Damn. Should I heal? 
No, I'm just gonna use a Repel Gel, honestly. Cause, um... Really, like... The Repel Gel is probably better to use, honestly, cause now... Like, I can charge up with Goombario and continue to attack. And... It's just awesome like that, so... He charged up, but I'm invincible. And now that I'm in danger, it's actually better, because now I can do some more uh, damage to this, uh, this, I don't know, heart. <laughs> I can't even think of a, you know, a good insult towards it. It's just a heart. And his attack failed. Ha ha ha. Um... Tubba Bubba's heart, by the way, uh, just so you know, um, has 50 HP, uh, so, he's not, like, incredibly difficult to take down, it just might take a little long, depending on the way that you, you know, go about it, um, I'm gonna charge with Goombari again, and get him nice and ready up there. Yeah, that's his physical attack, like, whoop de doo <laughs> Like, not a lot at all, but, you know. It's enough to uh, weaken you just a little bit. Um, and I have no idea how much damage I, I've done so far. Not that it matters. Um, but this w attack will kill me if I let him use it, so I'm going to use another Super Shroom. Or, if I, yeah, another Super Shroom. And, uh, basically, Goombario is going to be doing majority of the work in this battle, uh, with his charge and head bonk combo. We've done at least 30 H er, 30 damage to him, though. Oh, yeah. Thanks, you're so cool. Um, now last time... Huh... What can I do? What can I do? Alright, I'm gonna use another Super Shroom. Like I said, I, I, I think that's actually not, not such a bad plan. But now I'm at a Super Shroom, so I kinda wanna, you know, get this over with and, and just beat him up now. Like I said, it, it's not too bad as long as you know how to fight against him. If you don't know how to fight against him, then he actually can be a rather difficult boss. Um, but we're probably going to defeat him this next turn. Because he has 50 HP, and I know I've done quite a bit with uh, Mario. But we'll see. We'll see. Is this enough to get him? Ah, it is. Owie, I owe him hurting. I have to get out of here. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. A heart can't stand up to me. Um, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna let things play out themselves. I'm not gonna say a word. It's time to reunite! Oh yeah, now I'm feeling good. With my heart and body united, there's no way to beat me. Well, that may be what he thinks, but in all reality, Tubble Bubba is a piece of cake now, and actually pretty weak. Um, in fact, we will be defeating him next turn. Oh, uh, well, yeah, we'll still defeat him. Um, his HP with his, uh, heart intact is 10, and his max, uh, damage that he can deal... Oh my god, what am I doing? Uh, his max damage that he can, uh, deal is, uh, 6, so... He goes down really easily. It's not like they give you a whole new boss fight. But you get your star points here. Oh, oh no! With my heart and my body united, I'm not invincible anymore. Now I'm back to not invincible tubba blubba. That's so lame. I give up. Look, I'll give back all the ghosts I ate. Forgive me. T 
I actually am a really sensitive guy trapped in a huge body. I don't want to be invincible anymore if it me means I have to fight guys like you. And then he runs away, crying like a baby. And Bao, you know, says, serves him right, which is, uh, you know, kind of cruel. But he did eat all those booze. So Bao thinks that was an invigorating experience. I love the word invigorating. I use it all the time. And uh, a good learning experience. So she thinks she's going to accompany us a little longer. And uh, I've never said no. And... You know, uh, I, I do like Bao, so I'd never say no. Uh, and now we get our star spirits. That's awesome. And this episode is actually not too long. End of chapter! After solving the secret of Invincible Tubba Blubba, Mario and party set free star spirit Skolar. Now with Tubba Blubba just a head bad dream, the boos are free to haunt their to their heart's content. Even the lonely wind echoing through Gusty Gulch seems to be celebrating the victory. At least for now. With the newest party member Bao in tow, Mario and friends are ready to take on their next challenge. Oh, and something I'll mention now, uh, before I save and quit, is, uh, I, I, I recorded all of this in one shot, uh, so I have no idea the comments, but if anybody says that it's Bo and not Bao, I'm just saying there's no way to prove that. I don't have to listen to your pronunciation, so, yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to close out Chapter 3 on a good note. Um, and in the next episode, we will go to the interlude and, uh, you know, off to uh, Chapter 4. So, if you enjoyed this video and enjoyed this chapter thus far, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys all next time.